hello beautiful family and welcome back to the channel welcome if you are new in today's video i have a long clean with me i have so many things that i want to get done today around the house before i actually leave to run my errands i'm gonna pick up my grandson today and spend a couple days with him so really excited about that it is 6 a.m. and this is the type of wake up early that I need because it's the only way I can feel like I actually have a full day to get done what I need to get done and still have a lot of the day left over and not start so late in the day and not go to bed until like 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning because I still have so much to do. I was able to accomplish everything that I needed to accomplish today with the house, running errands, cooking dinner, doing just everything I needed to do before it was dark. So I want to bring you all along with me for some extreme cleaning motivation. Not that my house is filthy because it never is. But again, like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing a lot in this video. And so it should really motivate you and help you to get a lot done around your home as well. Of course want to thank all of my loyals for being here every single week when i upload a new video i really appreciate you showing up and enjoying the content more than you know in case you are new here my name is stephanie and this is my channel of course helping you to create a beautiful space for yourself through proper cleaning i also offer cleaning motivation and i am going to start throwing in some lifestyle i'm now working out honey and so i'm just trying to change the way i do things in my life i'm a professional housekeeper with 13 years of experience giving cleaning advice and cleaning tips on how to keep your home in tip-top shape be sure you are subscribed so that you can always be around to pick up what i am putting down i'm well versed in how to fully take care of all things housekeeping and i'm here to share my knowledge with you days that I strip my bed to wash my sheets I always do what you see me doing here and that is just kind of straighten out my pillows I want to tuck my mattress cover really good and then I just kind of want to semi make up the bed but just pull everything back because nine times out of ten I'm gonna be doing laundry all day when I'm washing my sheets because of course I'm gonna have other loads to do and in most cases, I'm also cleaning. It's not like washing my sheets is the only thing that I have to do that day. So I don't like to look at my bed just in disarray, right? A lot of times people will strip their beds and just leave the cover on the floor or leave it on the bed. But for me, I like to just see everything neat, especially because I'm already cleaning. I don't wanna walk back and forth in my bedroom even though my bed is stripped and just kind of look at my bed looking out of place. And so that's just the way that I like to see it. And then when I make my bed, once the sheets are ready, then all I have to do is just, I well, actually I have learned to put the sheets on the bed with the comforter and the quilt and everything still on the bed. So I've learned to do that. So that's what you see me doing. Um, my nightstand has quite a bit of um, quite a bit of items on it because 
I'm always like, of course, we all are laying in our beds, reading, drinking a cup of tea, water, snacking, whatever we're doing. And it always just kind of ends up left there at night. So my furniture in the bedroom does need to be dusted. Originally, I wasn't going to dust it. So you're going to see me walk back in there to do it. But originally, I wasn't going to dust the furniture. But I said, well, I'm cleaning and I may as well. I was able to pull my nightstands away from the wall and I discovered that there was some wine wasted on my baseboard because I knocked over a glass of wine. I'm lucky for me, it wasn't a full glass, but I knocked over some wine one night and it did hit the wall and it got on the baseboard. Now it did come off the baseboard, but because this builder's paint is so terrible, it didn't come off the paint which is why i am in a hurry to just get the house painted but we're going to start with the bathroom the laundry room is already done of course and then i'm going to go ahead and start in the master bathroom which i'm very excited about we'll get more into that later but that's why i'm ready to get rid of this builder's paint because anything that touches it it's just there and that's it over here in this area of vacuuming where my kettlebell and my exercise mat is I thought I'd bring it up this is a 35 pound kettlebell it is very heavy and I have been working out with it and y'all when I tell you that this kettlebell <laughs> is heavy I can't swing it I do have a 10 pound one that I haven't used in a while because of course I just got back into my workout routines but this 35 pound one is really changing my life. I got to be honest about that. Like I have certain goals that I want to meet with my body now that I'm working out. And definitely my arms is one of them. Um, my chest and my thighs and my legs. And this like, I guess would be pretty much my entire body. Of course, I want my entire body to be sculpted, but... I am targeting certain areas because I know where I just really want to be strong. And so I decided to show y'all the video because it is not easy lifting that heavy kettlebell. It's really not. But I am so proud of myself for getting it done. And I'm getting it done every day, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm working out every day. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling stronger. I'm feeling like I have never felt before. And... It's just like I feel so much more healthier. Now, I'm showing you the laundry because that's some laundry that I had going last night that I just laid out so that it wouldn't get wrinkled. And then inside of the basket, I have my cleaning rags that I need to get washed. And those are my cleaning rags that I keep inside of the house because those are the ones that I use for the house, not for my clients. 
So I'm taking the towels out of the dryer because I also washed these last night. But because I put them in the dryer last night and they've been there all night, I wanted to go ahead and run the dryer again because I don't at all, at all like wrinkled laundry and I don't like it to be cold, if you will. I like it warm when I take it out of the dryer and lay it flat like this because laying it flat like this keeps it from wrinkling if I'm not going to fold it right away. So I just lay it out and then when I'm ready to fold it, it's good and ready to go. And then all I have to do is just, um, again, fold it and put it away. And now I am cleaning out my little lint uh, trash can that I have here on the side of the trash can. And I also need to refill, I'm, I'm sorry, on the side of the dryer. And then I also need to refill my detergent dispenser and also um, clean the little cups and, you know, just get things neat because it's been a while since I have had to clean it. But anyway, I was talking about just how I'm feeling physically and mentally. I have so much more mental clarity. Like I just kind of almost feel like a new person and working your body this way. It the, the results happens almost immediately, like after the second or third day, I just started to feel different. And every time I start a workout routine because I start, stop, start, stop. This time I'm going to keep it going. Y'all willing, I still have my health and my strength because I'm stable now. Like I'm in a permanent place. I'm not going to be moving anymore. Now this here, I have to get this done in the kitchen that you see in the sink. And then I am letting the chicken sit in water because I'm going to make some honey glazed chicken for dinner. And all of this is what I have to come in the kitchen and do, put things away, wipe down the stove, you know, just clean the kitchen. So I'm just kind of giving you an overview of what's going on in the kitchen right now. But yes, I am definitely trying to stay on top of just uh, feeling good now that we're in the house. I don't have to move anymore. I don't have to like try to get back into the routine. When I was in the apartment before we closed on the house, I was working out. And then when we got here, I just stopped. I actually had planned for the upstairs tv room to be the area where i work out at and it still can be but my daughter she's up there now and i have plenty of room in my bedroom and it's a tv down here now so it's fine um i'll switch if i want to but right now it's not necessary but i am feeling so good i'm feeling i don't know i'm just i'm feeling like a new woman and this is the way i always want to feel there are so many illnesses and sicknesses and um, just mental illnesses and just all kinds of stuff out there that's just plaguing human society um, and or should I say the human race and it's just people don't realize that this is why it's that way like my lower back would hurt my knees would hurt that sort of thing and just in the couple weeks that I've been working out I noticed that those things have disappeared so I'm very, very happy with my new lifestyle. And again, if the Most High continues to give me my health and my strength, I'm definitely going to keep it going because this is just a treat for myself. Like, I have certain issues myself that I know could be fixed if I just kept a regular exercise routine. I have digestive issues and just like a couple things you know that I have going on with me a lot of times and you know my body really likes the fact that I'm working it as hard as I am now I mean I've been cleaning houses of course for several years but actually isolating the muscles and you know just really working them I, I just I notice a huge difference and it just feels too good for me to give up on it and I'm getting older, I'm not getting any younger. And if I don't do it now, then when, right? Because I'm going to be 44 years old on Sunday. Today, as a matter of fact, because y'all are probably watching the video on the 3rd if I didn't decide to post it on Monday because I'll never know, honey. But um, especially since I'm changing the schedule. I think I'm changing the schedule. I don't know. But yes, I'm feeling really, really good. Now you have... Just watch me really clean my shower down really good. And it's not necessarily a deep clean. It's just that I like to clean my shower real good with soap. And I use Dawn just in case I didn't show you that. 
and that's it dawn shines it takes grit away and it's just the best for cleaning i love it and i like to rinse my glass really really well because if you don't then what you'll end up having is uh, soap still on the glass when you go to wipe it down with your glass cleaner if you choose to i usually just leave mine wet but i also like for all of the soap to be rinsed away and yeah so that's why you see me rinsing my glass as long as i do because i just i don't want any soap left over on the glass because it just helps it to shine better when that is not the case we can spend all day in there i'll put the tv in the room we'll have a netflix marathon kg saxophone we'll order in a bunch of food Put your favorite music on all the way baritone oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front of rain oh, We can spend all day in bed I get the wine and the corkscrew You don't have to do one single thing You don't know how much I want you just looking at you makes my whole world spin oh, You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a nap So I'm not going to be deep cleaning my bathroom today because a lot of times i clean my bathroom in sections if you will like the tub is already clean because i did that like a week ago the toilet is also clean because i did that a week ago and the floors are clean as well so the towel that was on the floor of course did get wet so i just took the towel and just kind of mopped up the rest of the water and then that way I didn't even have to pull out the Swiffer to get the floors clean because it's already clean. And then, of course, the area by the shower would be a little bit more cleaner now than it was when I started because of the water getting on the floor. So I just like to keep the sink wiped down. Of course, I really always like to see my shower clean. I don't like for my shower to get out of hand at all. And so with the toilet, I'm just going to wipe off the handle. Well, I'm actually going to clean the toilet i'm not going to wipe down the entire toilet but just kind of clean the inside make sure the handle is wiped down and then of course i'm going to shine it up with my glass cleaner and my paper towel so just doing a little spruce up in the toilet area and then of course what you see me doing here now that we are in the bathroom i am excited to announce which if you did not see my community post the other day I'm excited to announce that I am getting ready to have this bathroom painted. I'm not doing it myself, y'all, because I, I just cannot. Like, it would be a really big job. These are high ceilings. The ceilings have to be painted as well because everything is just one color. I want to keep it that way. So whatever color I go with for the bathroom, the ceiling has to be the same because it's already gray so like just say i didn't go with the gray or i went with a darker gray or a lighter gray you know the ceiling has to match so i'm not going to try to take on a project like that by myself i actually looked the bathroom over and i was thinking i could probably do this myself but i don't think i'm ready to do that alone and so i'm just going to go ahead and have the same guy out that did our laundry room do the bathroom now since i've made that decision I also have an a interior decorator that's going to come out on Tuesday to consult with me because I have some other things that I want to get done in the bathroom that I'm thinking about besides paint. So that's exciting and I really can't wait to talk with her. So that's 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 what I have coming up. Now my idea for my bathroom, first of all, I'm already shopping. I got something from the Pottery Barn the other day. And then I'm just going to be like out just shopping for home decor, but I'm only going to be shopping for the bathroom because this is the area that I'm getting ready to tackle. Like this is getting ready to be my project. 
the bathroom in our home is my least favorite area i definitely did not get the dream bathroom that i wanted and it's okay i got the dream house but i didn't get the dream bathroom so i'm just gonna turn it into a dream for myself right so um i am doing shopping for the bathroom so 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 excited y'all um i want to put a backsplash around the tub I wish I could change out the tub altogether, but that's something that's going to happen. I mean, that's not going to happen no time soon if we ever do it, right? So I do want to have a backsplash put around the tub. Like, I just have so much that I want to get done. Um, so, yeah, I'm shopping. I know that I want to have, like, a really, really beautiful greenery type of look in here. Like, I just see florals and greenery and just, like, that's what i am envisioning for this bathroom and I, I can't i can't wait i can't wait until i start fixing it up like i'm ready i'm ready like this is my project for a while until i move into another part of the house but i am excited to bring y'all along with me and yeah i can't wait i can't wait y'all know that we have moved into the kitchen now and we're done with the master but I did pull my nightstands away from the wall today because I wanted to make sure that there was nothing behind them and it also allows you an opportunity to be able to see any dust that's collecting behind your furniture especially on your baseboards so if you haven't pulled your nightstands out in a while definitely be sure you do that on your next clean because I can promise you you're going to find something that you need to deal with. So I don't know if you noticed, but when I take my dishes out of the dishwasher, I just kind of sit everything on the counter as I'm doing that. And of course you notice because I'm doing it right now. But I don't, I never really just pull everything from the dishwasher and like, I don't go from the dishwasher to the cabinet. I don't know why I do that. For whatever reason, that's just how my mind works. I just take everything out, sit it on the counter, stack it and then put it away i don't again i have no clue why i do that but i do just it's just again the way my mind works i am putting away my silverware and the easiest way to do it is to take your basket out of the dishwasher and just sit it on the counter and then load your silverware drawer that way maybe a lot of people may already do that i don't know this is something that i have just discovered lately like let me just take the basket out and load the silverware drawer like that and it could be because as you can see i have so much silverware now whereas before i didn't have that much so it wasn't really a big deal but now i actually have a lot since i bought that um that new set in the last video or the video before the last one and so i rather have too much then not enough and now I literally have too much and I'm good with that.
So I am cleaning my wok because the other night we had chicken fried rice. I am still perfecting my chicken fried rice. I think that it's the rice part that I just can't get perfect. I want it loose, loose. And I don't want it stuck together at all. Like, I'm almost there, but not quite. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm still doing my research on it and I'm following the steps, you know, when I find new uh, recipes and different people here on YouTube that teaches you how to do it. I am a fried rice lover. And it just has not been the same since I was a child when I first started eating fried rice because my mom and my grandma would always buy it at a restaurant called Tongues. And it's been so many years ago. And I just remember it being so incredibly good. And y'all know stuff is just not what it used to be. So still perfecting it, but it was good. We had the egg, we had the chicken, we had the bean sprouts. We had the mixed veggies, just so delicious, right? And I like a lot of eggs in mine. Like I've always liked it that way, just a lot of egg. It's something about that fried rice and that egg that just meshes so well together. And I just love it. The other thing I want to mention is I am so tired of my braids. I'm ready to take them out. I mean, it's easy. It's convenient. Definitely not ready to take them out because I'm ready to start back combing my hair but I'm trying to give it two more weeks. Um, I'm the kind of person that gets bored with the hairstyle really quickly. So I am trying to give it two more weeks. We have a cruise booked in, at the end of May. And so I'm probably not gonna get my hair braided again until closer to that time. But I'm trying to figure out which way I wanna go with it once I do take these braids out. I did wash my braids about a week ago, maybe a week and a half, something like that. But anyway, I was able to wash them really, really good because I'm still taking care of my hair real good while it's, you know, braided up. Um, leaving it alone is helping it as well because if you don't know, I just combed out my locks. And so just really trying to get my hair strong and healthy. And so I think that this style is just really allowing it to do that. I noticed some growth and that sort of thing since my hair has been in the braids. I've been moisturizing really well, keeping it oiled, just keeping my scalp, you know, oiled and just really taking care of my hair at the root while it's in the braids, right? So in case you're wondering, when is she gonna take out those braids? Which you might, which you probably weren't. But for me, I'm, you know, I'm trying to give it a couple more weeks and then um, I'm going to take them down and just kind of roll with something else until it's time for me to get my hair braided again for our trip. And that'll probably be sometimes maybe beginning of May, maybe mid-May, because I want them to be really, really fresh.
in case you're new here i do use glass cleaner to put a streak free shine on my surfaces after i have cleaned them really well and wipe everything good it's just something that i've been doing for a very long time um, everybody here my loyals know that this is what i do so i just wanted to mention that so i think it's a technique that you should try if you never have i'm also going to um well what you see here is me drying the dishes of course because i don't like to put dishes in the dishwasher that takes up a lot of space because i like for my dishes in the dishwasher to get sparkling clean and i noticed that if i overload it it just doesn't get as clean and so I, I don't like that so i just i like to hand wash pots and pans and that sort of thing the glass bowl that you see here sitting on the counter i like to wash things of that size and just kind of you know not overcrowd my dishwasher because i i honestly don't think they're made for that so you know i just like for everything to get really really sparkly <music> The fact that this pasta has been in these little plastic bags that are basically ripped has just been driving me absolutely insane. And so I know that this doesn't say pasta, it says coffee. It's because I used to keep my coffee in this container and the container, I'm not drinking coffee like that. At least I don't buy it anymore from the grocery store. I get my coffee out. So, um... That's why it says coffee, but it really doesn't matter. I just need it to contain my pasta. If you just heard something in my background, that's my grandson and yeah.
is a quality of life like I know that cleaning doesn't mean the same to everybody and not everybody you know views cleaning the same not everybody cleans the same and I totally understand that but for me personally the reason I like to clean so much and the way I'm so overly um, persnickety about it is because I just really feel like it just gives me that quality of life that I want to live like when you get into those cracks and crevices when you decide that you're gonna get up for the day and get your day started whatever that looks like for you and then you look around at your space and you see that it's probably just not up to par so you decide to start wiping in one room it usually will start a chain reaction. I know that's the way it is for me. I'll start in one room and then I'll end up cleaning the entire house. And I've always been that way. And I just find it so therapeutic. I've heard a lot of people say that they get distracted while they're cleaning. They end up in other areas. They may not end up finishing. Like I know my aunt, like it takes her days to clean her house. But for me, it doesn't take that long. Even before I became a professional cleaner, it just never took me days to clean up. Cleaning is just something that I've always found to be the most important thing for whatever reason. And again, a lot of us are born with it, you know, and just like other things, other traits that we're born with, other characteristics, you know what I mean? But Cleaning is really something that's in my heart. I love doing it. I love talking about it. I love being on here showing you how I clean. And it's just like, it's just not just all oh, cleaning, like, right? Like, it's not like that for me. Um, I use the Ecos plant based laundry detergent, in case you don't know. I absolutely love this detergent. I love it, number one, because I can buy it in bulk. As you can see, this is like a 250, I think, loads. And then um, I just, I like the way it cleans my clothes. I don't like to wash with chemicals. That's not really my thing because I'm very, like, particular about how I'm washing my underwear and that sort of thing, right? Because, you know, your lady parts are very important and mine are very sensitive not to you know, give you TMI, but I just mean that I just like a really nice plant-based detergent. For me, that's important for my clothes. Now, my scent boosters are not necessarily plant-based. They are non-toxic according to their website, but I can roll with it. It hasn't bothered me at all so far. And if your detergent doesn't bother you, if you use Gain Tide, all that stuff, I'm not, you know, against that. Every, different strokes for different folks. But for me, since I was refilling my dispenser, I thought I'd show you what type of detergent I use. And just to let you know that this is uh, one of my favorites. My second favorite is the 7th Generation. I just can't buy 7th Generation in bulk. I actually prefer 7th Generation, but I just can't buy it in bulk. My baker's rack gets very dusty. And so I have to dust it from time to time, which is what I'm doing today. And I also love dusting it too, because it just reminds me of what's over here, right? I'm, it's not like I'm looking at it every time I walk by, but this was another one of my projects that I set out to do and I'm finished with it and I just love the way it looks. And so each time that I get to dust it, I just get to admire it all over again.
vacuuming the floor versus sweeping is so much more effective. It just gets all of those crumbs out of those cracks and crevices that fall underneath your chairs, that falls underneath your countertops where your kick plates are just beneath your cabinets. It's just so much better. I find that my floors get so much more clean when I vacuum them first versus sweep. I'm still very old fashioned in the way that I clean, which is why I like to use the dustpan and the broom. However, I do find that the broom leaves behind trash. And so I double work when I use the broom. So when I'm vacuuming, I don't have to do anything except vacuum and then mop. Okay, so you all have been telling me that I needed to get these mop shoes. Well, I won't say you all. I'll say at least two of you. And I finally did. I got the little piggy ones. They are so girly and so super cute. The bottom looks like these little, has like this little duster look to it, which I love. And it is Velcro. So you get to rip that off and throw it in the washer. And I so think these are so adorable and they work so well. So thank you to the two ladies who recommended that I get these. I'm glad that I tried them. The piggies were inspired by my daughter because she loves piggies, right? And so when I saw them, I had a choice between rabbits, I think a bear and some other stuff. But then the pigs were super cute because not only were they pigs, but they are pink, which is my favorite color. And they are super duper comfortable. I almost forgot that they were mop shoes. I started walking around in them. You'll see that <laughs> um, in the video. But I started walking around in them, you know, like they were just regular house shoes, which they probably could be. But I'm going to reserve mine for mopping because that's what they're for. And of course, I want them to last a long time. So I don't want to defeat the purpose by wearing them all the time. But they are really comfortable. I do recommend them. I did buy them on Amazon. I'm kind of out with Amazon at the moment because I'm, I just, I don't like how they do things anymore. But when I did my live, the young lady came in my, well, she was on my live. And forgive me if I don't remember your name, sis. But she recommended the mop shoes again. So two ladies told me that I needed to get the mop shoes. One of those ladies told me twice that I needed to get them. So I did get them like I told you I was going to do. I don't like Amazon. But anyway, so the reason why I like the flat mop is because you see how the, the pad is raised on the sides with the flat mop. You see how I can get up against the baseboards right there, like right at the very bottom. I love that. I will not use any other mop besides the flat mop. I'm just so in love with my flat mop. It gets under furniture. It just, it does what it needs to do. It is a really, really good buy. They last forever and I just love them. So yeah. Oh, did I mention that I got the, yeah, I did. I got the mop shoes on Amazon. I will link it for you just because, just in case you want to get them. Again, not a fan of Amazon anymore, um, but I will link them for you in case you want to get them. But I love them. I absolutely do. So since we discussed my baker's rack a little bit earlier, I do want to give you a tour of it. I'm also going to give you a tour of my cabinets as well, um, since I've never done that here on the channel. So this is what it looks like above the baker's rack. I wanted my baker's rack to actually have to represent baking. That's what I wanted. Um, I've always wanted to bake and so this was the perfect opportunity for me to pretend like I actually do the brown sugar one this one here that's new I replaced a coffee container with that 
it the brown sugar got really hard in my pantry and so I had no other use for it it already had a label on the front of the container so I said it'll be perfect on the baker's rack so I have the little recipe box I have the bread box those cookies are strictly for decoration uh, down below I have a utensils container I also have my little mixing bowls the white ones and then I have that little gift that little a white set that my friend gave me and then I have all of my cast iron down here at the bottom so I use my cast iron of course but and then over there in the corner is just a galvanized uh, milk jug right and then here at the top I have pasta snacks um, jams flour cookbooks stuff like that so just really proud of my little baker's rack and I thought I would show you what it looked like today. So my, what do you call this thing? My plug-in, my Febreze plug-in indicator light is on, indicating that it is empty, which is what I love about these Febreze plug-ins, right? So I am just going to replace it with the new one. This is the Serene Vanilla or something like that. It smells really good. It almost smells like baked goods is what I get from it so it's really appropriate for the spot that it's in being that we have this open floor plan and our kitchen is right here it I love that baked good smell like I like those uh sweets type of smells especially in this area so I'm just gonna refill my Febreze plug-in and then I'm just gonna place it back in the wall honey so my living room or better yet my entire downstairs can continue to smell fabulous
This is how clean my mop shoes are on the bottom even before I wash them so that's a good sign because my floors weren't that dirty so yeah to show you what the top of my cabinets look like and we're going to start over here on top of the refrigerator look how clean the top of my refrigerator is no dust in sight i love that so anyway the way i have the top of my cabinets decorated is this way as you can see um some of this stuff came from hobby lobby and some of it came from the home store and those beans the pasta and the raisin bran i bought specifically for those three containers because i knew i wanted to sit them on risers and decorate with them this i actually got from the goodwill the farmer's market i got from the goodwill the fern that sits behind it came from ross and then the coffee and the flower container that's on the other side, the black and white, came from the Goodwill as well. And those containers were so dirty. When I bought them, y'all, I had to really, really clean them up and it was easy to do. This is how much dust I had left after mopping the floors and the carpet this morning. So not too bad. I don't need to clean it out immediately, so I'm good. So I am back home after running all of my errands and picking up my grandson. I have been to the store after picking him up and I also went to visit family, my grandmother, my aunt and everybody and I am home. So what I picked up at the grocery store was some chicken sausage for breakfast in the morning, some strawberries, cabbage for dinner tonight, some uh, green wine cereal for Elias in the morning 
and then i also picked up some milk for him as well i got three kombuchas i got a pineapple a ginger berry and a trilogy i believe and i got two bell peppers a red one and a orange one i'm gonna cut this up to go in my cabbage tonight and then i got a carton of vital farms pastured eggs so i don't know if y'all remember me saying that i had no idea what happened to all of my shopping bags and which is why i was bringing home all that plastic well i found them all in the pantry honey they were all stuffed down in one big um shopping bag and i was in the pantry one day and i was like here are my bags i don't have to buy anymore so i keep them in the car now and then when I use one and bring it inside the house, I just put it over by my purse so that I can put it back in the car so that I'm not having that problem with forgetting my bags anymore. So now that I'm home and my hands are being cleaned, I'm getting ready to wash the chicken so I can season it up for dinner. You don't care what you're doing to me. I've been down in the ruins. So deep, all the games they you play, all the love you forsaken, you let it slip away. Oh, 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 oh. you don't care what you're doing to me. Every setback, every mishap, every time you say you're gonna change, so you get it, you regret it, I forgive it, but you stay the same. Now that I have taken my chicken out of the freezer bags, I like to rinse those out before I put them in the trash because anything that has like blood and that sort of thing left over in it, I don't I don't like to put it in my trash can. I like to clean it first. And then also like if I open up tuna or sardines or anything like that, I always rinse it out before I actually throw it in the trash. That way I don't have that smell in my trash can, thus having the smell in my home. Shed a tear for me, baby, if you dare Maybe then it would show me that you care Cause your words never match what you do So y'all, I have gotten it all done today. My energy is through the roof even still, and I am absolutely loving it. I definitely want the kitchen to stay clean. I always clean as I cook anyway, but since the kitchen got a really, really good cleaning this morning, it was cleaning day, right? Not just straightening up. I definitely want to make sure I'm wiping down everything and just keeping the kitchen in the same condition as it was when I started, even though I'm cooking, because I just don't play about a dirty kitchen. Like it is just something about a clean 
kitchen, a clean house, period. But a clean kitchen just adds that extra level of cleanliness, right? Like, it's just, I just love it. it I, I just can't even describe it. I just love it. I always talk to y'all here about how your cleans are supposed to be felt. They're not only supposed, your cleans are not only supposed to be clean, but they are also supposed to be felt. If you cannot feel the fact that you have cleaned your home, you still have work to do. Every day see so many people doing the things you do And they're doing it better too whoa, whoa. It's like why should I even try When there's always some other guy Who's way ahead of you Who makes it look easy Why would they need me? Oh I hear it now I'm just being needy I try not to envy you To get angry you Do it better So once I got my sheets on the bed and they're nice and fresh, I like to pull my comforter and quilt back because I just like for that air to hit my sheets. That way when I get out of the shower and get in the bed, it's just a feeling that I just can't describe y'all. So what you see me doing is pulling everything to the top. That's why you don't see me folding anything back. You see me pulling the comforter and the quilt and the flat sheet that's on the inside everything to the top because i'm gonna roll it all back to make my bed nice and cozy and I Thinking somebody will see me then No, don't get me wrong Really want everybody to succeed But can we start with me? Like why was it her and not me? Why was it her and not me? Wish someone could redesign me To not have this doubt to find me Why was it her and not me? Why was it her and not me? Envy is gonna blind me Why was it her and not me? Everybody, hey? Yes. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Wave your hand. Uh, Say. <laughs> so Elias has had his bath, y'all. He stayed in the bathtub for a whole hour. His fingers are so pruny. Anyway, this is, um, and he's nice and ready for bed, okay? He is good and ready for bed after dinner. I probably should have fed him first, but I'll make sure his pajamas stay clean because he is going to be ready for bed after he eats. Now, I'm going to link this. Well, I'm not going to link it. I'm going to list the ingredients to this honey glaze in the description. So if you're interested, check it out. It was really, really tasty, y'all, and it is super easy to make. The ingredients is honey, soy sauce, 
and I think olive oil, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like it's one more, but I'll look before <laughs> I link it. But anyway, I'm getting ready to close all of the curtains because I myself has had my shower and I am very comfortable and I got, um, it's, it's dark now. It wasn't, I, I did everything before it got dark. Everything was like, it, it, was, it, was, it was just kind of like right at dark when I finished everything. So very proud of myself for this very, 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 very productive day. And I will see you all in the next one. I love you. Bye. Oh.